Hello, I'm Lon, one of the Bluey Brothers, and today I'm going to show you how to use T2i files with the new um, Canon E1 plugin. Now, natively, it doesn't work. So, the last couple of days, I've been trying to figure out what the easiest, fastest way to get those files to work. And it's actually there's there's two different ways. One, um, some uh, Nathan Beeman at Final Cut User did a really, really good job of figuring out how to just get new files that you shoot to work. And then I'm also going to show you how to get old files you probably saved as just the .movs to work as well. So his method is actually pretty cool. Um, he's He uses the 550D, but I'm in the U.S., so we have the T2i. So the work, uh, the, the change is a tiny bit different. So let's take a look at what he says. Basically, you go into this directory here and change a file to, uh, say, Canon EOS 550D. So I tried that with the sample files I had. It didn't work, so then I went and I took a look and see what we could do to actually make it work for the T2i version of the, that camera. So if we look in that directory, um, it's it's over here in library application support, pro apps, MIO, rad, plugins, candidate, plugin contents resources. Here's a file, camera.plist. So I open that in my favorite text editor called Text Wrangler, and here's what it looks like. So if we do what he says with the, with the T2i file, it actually do doesn't work. Um, so what I did was I changed it to just T2i, Canon EOS Rebel T2i. And what I did was I got that information for, from the THM file, this file, um, that actually Rodney Charters provided to me because I don't have a T2i, so I needed some files. So thank you very much, Rodney, for giving me those files. Um, this THM file actually looks like this. And so I just took that copied it, because that I just assumed, oh, let's try that, maybe that'll work, and it actually did. So if we go into the camera.plist file, we add in this stuff right here. <clears throat> I know, it's very, very technical. Um, save that file. Actually, let, let, me, let me undo that. Uh, let, me, let me take that out, uh, resave it. We'll go into Final Cut, and what happens is... If we go in and we open, here's my the files that Rodney gave me. Um, if we go in and try and open that, we get a little error box right here. Uh, unsupported media. So, don't want that. We want it to work. So let's add in T2i and then another string and an EOS Rebel T2i. We'll save that. And when we go into that same folder, open. There we go, our clip comes up, we can scrub, we can add it to Q. So that works, that's great for all the files that you shoot from now on, you know the workflow. You, can, you have to save basically the, the entire directory um, in there. So you have the .movs and the .thms. It's, it's the .thms, that's where the problem is. That's what identifies this file. So knowing that, here's method two. For all of your old files that you have, um, you probably have them saved like this, just the .mov. So I just deleted the .thm. So even with our fix installed, if we go in here, T2i folder, open, it doesn't work. It says un invalid directory structure and supported media. So in order for us to get that back, what I did was I created 10,000 files, uh, THM files, all of them with the 5D Mark II, and they all work. So th there's basically this second method is if you have old files that you want to work, all you need to do is put them in a either a 100 Canon EOS 5D folder or a 100 Canon folder. Actually, any file, any folder might work, um, but then you just find whatever numbers match yours in this folder that I created. So 0612, so I could go scroll down. Find zero six one two and duplicate that in here because we'll, this is basically there so that you have all ten thousand you have to recreate them um, and drop that into your folder so it matches the name 
go back into Final Cut, and that should work like a charm. There we go. We, we have that file, scrubbable. Only bad thing is, this is the thumbnail um, that comes up, so you, you lose on your old clips the ability to have the thumbnails of the original clip. So, we just put our logo on there, so it looks looks fun. So we remind you that we helped you out. Um, so that that's basically it. You take those files. Well, uh, so one way to do it, and I'll have these these files available for you to download. Um, one other thing is because these files, you know, there's so many of them. I just found the one and copied it over. But you can actually a, a easier workflow might take a minute or two for it to duplicate the files because it's about 200 megs with the files. It's just copy all the files in. It's not going to hurt it, but it, you're wasting space when you do that. So that's it. Um, hopefully all you guys with T2Is can have access to the new um, plugin that allows you to log and transfer. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.